Bill Nye once argued that we should absolutely not teach creationism in schools. In fact, we shouldn't teach creationism at all to children. Because when you introduce such a radically unscientific idea to a kid, their entire worldview will try to awkwardly accommodate this wobbly and contradictory mystery. Everything else they will learn in biology, chemistry, physics and engineering has to make room for this strange anti-scientific black hole. As Nye put it, it's like trying to do geology without believing in tectonic plates. The problem is that almost all of the most advanced economies in the world depend upon a citizen body that is scientifically literate and technologically minded. Innovation, invention and scientific discovery is what made places like the United States so rich and powerful. But when you start to undermine these key virtues by saying things like evolution doesn't exist or that dinosaur bones are just a hoax, well you are saying that science is just a nice to have item you can do away with. But wealth and prosperity is built on intellectual capital, and this is built through the general understanding of science. As Nye puts it, if adults want to study creationism, then fine, but don't make your kids do it because we need them. We need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers for the future. We need engineers that can build stuff and solve problems. According to Nye, the health, the wealth and the progress of the entire world depends upon science, and we need to remind children of that early and often.